Hi, everybody. Welcome to Debs Cooper's uh, talking today about how to keep uh, finances, money in your pocket during the festive season. And when I say that, I think the crazy festive season because we all tend to have our blowouts, uh, sometimes unexpected. So thank you for joining me today. You're welcome to add comments. Uh, I'll be able to see the questions and everything of where we're going and, and what's going on. So you've got any questions, fire them at me. But welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So when I talk about this, this becomes um, a crazy time for people during the festive season. Now in New Zealand and Australia, we have a summer. So our summer is the opposite to the rest of the world, the other side of the world. And so we have quite some time off, you know, schools finish, some high schools are finished um, start of December and we, we don't go back to school. They don't go back to school till start of February. So we have our two months vacation. Some schools, well, clearly primary schools, they build up. So it becomes quite a stressful time, not just for money, um, for, for care for our children, for social influencing parties, Christmas parties. So this is where it's more about, not, not just also about uh, Christmas presents, but it's also about giving in how we give out during this time because it does become incredibly stressful. So let me talk. Um, okay, fantastic. Thanks for coming on. So first is list. Make a list, L-I-S-T. People have given me some feedback saying they don't understand my accent, which um, I'm amused at. I think it's quite clear in what I'm saying. So make a list, L-I-S-T, of who you are buying for. It's really important to know who you're buying for and are they important enough that you're actually buying something for them uh, or giving them something, I should say. Um, and then the next one is what can you afford? So be really realistic here. Uh, listen to your own self. If you make a list of, of everybody, what can you afford to spend this year? So maybe $50, it may be $20, it may be $100, it may be $500, maybe anything. So get really realistic about what you can afford and then split that price of what you can afford for that person into each person on that list. So like I say, who are you buying for <clears throat> or who are you gifting to on that list? And then be really realistic of what you can actually afford before you start splitting into the list and go, this person gets $10, this person gets $5, this person gets 20, this person gets 100. Look at what you can afford and then split that list of that into how much you're spending for each person. The next one which you'll find uh, is quite common, <clears throat> excuse me, coming through is communicate with others. So when I say communicate with others, I'm talking about the important people in your life. So that could be your family, uh, partners. So this is not an alone, this is not an alone time for you. Um, who do you have that's you, you, is wise to communicate with? Uh, if you're purchasing or doing something for your children's teachers at school, talk to the other parents of what, what they're doing. Do, do you want to all pull, pull, Put your money together in a pot, a kitty. I can hear my accent now. It's quite, it's quite clear. <laughs> so put your money together. So who do you need to and talk talk to about uh, communicating with? So don't do this alone. Uh, if you have a partner, share with your partner. If you have family who are all buying together, share with that family. And be really going back to the the step before. What can you afford? Be really realistic and make that clear. So the next thing is budget. And, and when I say budget, we've got that, what can you afford? Budget. So really look at what you've got, but budget it and stick to it. The worst thing you can do is say, okay, I only have $100 to spend extra, and then you go and spend $200. Now, what do you think that's going to do to your mindset, your, your internals, the people you connect with? You're going to be a very different person one of those. So look at what that budget is and stick to it, but leave a little bit extra for unexpected bills. Now, when I talk about unexpected bills, bills that, that come in, bills, surprises that come in that are unexpected for you. So not your power, 
not your phone, because you know what they are. But unless they're blown out of proportion, what is that unexpected little bit? Now, you don't have to spend that unexpected uh, bill money, but it can just sit there as a nest egg for when it's necessary. So you can bring it through, you know, we're at the end of November now, so you can bring it through to December, January, February, even if it lasts that long, that's fantastic. So just leave a little bit to your unexpected bills. So that's budget. I'm then going to bring it back to, um, <clears throat> excuse me a moment, Spider-Man today. And then going to bring it back to communicating with others. It's really important once you have that budget to communicate with those important people. Now, I'm not talking about friends and fa friends. I'm talking about those who are closest to you, family, partners, etc., um, children, whoever's the really most important when it comes to that. So communicate that. It's really, really important. I cannot emphasize this enough. Communicate with people and be transparent. Then you look at, once we've got those steps, we're looking at, what can you give? What can you give to to these people on this list? So maybe experiences. My daughter, uh, the last few years, has gone more about experiences than uh, shiny items. So so look at look at the experiences. What you can give. Spending time with someone. You know, um, I remember giving gift vouchers when I had little little to no money, and a gift vouchers to say to people, I would come and clean their house. I would, to the value of whatever, three hours. Yeah, I did do that. Um, or, you know, I'll pick you up and I'll look after your children. What are those experiences that you can give? So it's not necessarily money that you're giving out. It's um, experiences as well, um, which can also cost money, clearly. Uh, anything shiny, like a gift, I say shiny, which can also be a status and when I say that, I had to giggle because I was writing my notes and I was like, oh, it must be time to get a new iPhone. I'm like, hang on a minute. You've still got another iPhone. You've got one that works perfectly. The other one's a little bit slower. Do you really need one? I'm like, yes, I do. So that's just another little internal talk about what's what's so important, my shiny object. Um, and also, what can you re-gift around the house? So we've all been given presents where some people have given us things and we go, oh, thank you so much or however we say it, and we go, there is no way I'm going to use that. It's not the, my favorite moisturizer. It's not what I use. So so those things, you put those aside. Can you re-gift them to somebody who's going to have more value? Now, when you receive a gift and you don't want it, it's about how you receive that gift and how you re-gift it. Be aware that you're, it's not wise to, to take that gift from Bob and give it back to Bob the following year. So you've got to remember who gives you that. But there's things that you get throughout the year people give you and you're like, that's fantastic, but it's not something you're going to use. Then put those things aside that you can re-gift, that you know somebody else is going to value. The next one, again, is communicate. Communicate what's going on with your family, your partners, etc. I just cannot emphasize that enough because this is a time when everything blows up, could potentially blow up, and it's just not the sharpest tool in the shed to continue keeping things internally, communicate. So talk to your family and, and um, children. Let's. What about this for Christmas? What about this for Christmas? Instead of the other experiences. So keep that uh, communication open. The other thing is uh, crazy, 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 crazy. Don't go crazy. Don't go overboard. Don't buy at the last minute. Don't buy into that uh, special crazy buy one, get one free uh, deal that I'm going to keep for next time. Because if your budget only allows a certain amount, stick with that. You know, don't go crazy with that no last minute presence. And that's quite an important one that I find a lot of people do. And jumping from that into the next, the next point is. Uh, no comparing. I did a, a video recently about jealousy, and it was about comparing. Don't listen to what others have purchased. Don't listen to your brother who said, well, I'm going to buy the biggest bike for my son. And you go, oh, gosh, I haven't got a bike for my son. He's going to feel bad at Christmas time. What am I going to do? We're all going to open the presents together. Don't compare. Don't compare. Stick to what you know. Keep that communication open with your family and friends, uh, sorry, family and partners, and just keep it really open. Don't compare and don't listen to what other people have purchased. Are you listening to me, everybody? The last one 
or second to last one, is um, plan. And when I say plan, P-L-A-N, plan, do we have it all? Do we have everything we would like to give our children, everything we'd like to give our f friends and family, everything we'd like to give ourselves? Um, I still get amazing gifts at Christmas time, personally gifted from me to me, um, and I get the best gifts because I've planned of what I would really love to have. So do we have it? Do we have everything we have? And one of the things I had to giggle is, uh, when we talk about keeping money in your pocket during the festive season is the batteries if you're giving something that needs batteries please get the batteries sorted not to race out and get them at the corner store where they cost 10 times the amount of what you can get and so when I talked about earlier uh, not keeping the money um, for unexpected bills uh, that's what I'm talking about. Don't think, you know, the $3 pack of 50 batteries, I don't even know if you can get $3 pack of 50 batteries, um, but the pack of batteries, it's wise to get that stuff earlier than get them from the corner store on Christmas because the toys don't work or whatever's batteries operator doesn't need to work, can't work. Okay, so that's not the money we're talking about for unexpected bills. So plan. And so I'll, I'll recap everything before I give you the very last tip for keeping money in your pocket. So one is, who are you buying for? Make a list. Get really clear on who's important in your life, who you're buying or gifting to, and make that list. What can you afford? Uh, be realistic and split that into each person. Communicate, communicate, communicate. I cannot emphasize this enough. Communicate to the important people, which is your family, your partners, your children if you need to. Um, you know, uh, if you're buying a gift for a teacher, uh, your colleague, your children's friends at school, their parents, really communicate. Get that budget and stick to it. Uh, also leaving that little bit for unexpected bills. Budget, stick to it. Budget, stick to it. Budget, stick to it. Communicate. Fancy that. We're back to that. Communicating with others who are important in your life, like your family, your partner, etc. Then what can you give? What can you give to people? Whether it's uh, experiences, uh, a gift, uh, anything re-gifted, uh, baking, um, gift vouchers, anything, what, whatever your budget allows. You, when you, so when you gift, what can you give? The key is to give from the heart. You're generally giving whatever you're giving from the heart. Now, Bob may give a $10 gift to somebody, um, and Bob may give, um, I'm going to come and do your lawns three times this year, mow your lawns or do your garden or something, landscape. Now, whatever's more important, it makes no difference who you're comparing it to, but it's given from the heart, and that's what Bob gives, and that's where we want to honour that. He gives to you, you receive with love. That's the key this Christmas about keeping that money in your pocket as well. Uh, guess what I'm going to say next? Communicate, 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 communicate. Uh, keep that going. Don't go crazy. None of this cray-cray stuff um, and you go into this last-minute purchase because the shop happens to be open till midnight, so you'll just go and have a mosey on down and have a look. None of that. Don't go crazy. No comparing to what others have purchased. If it's a family member or a friend like, oh, wow, my daughter would love that, my son would love that, my partner would love that, stop comparing to what others have purchased. They've got their own rules and regulations that they have in their mind. You stick to what's important to you. And plan. Do we have it all? Plan, plan, plan. Do we have it all? I mentioned about the batteries. Um, that's really important. Uh, that's not how your money goes for your unexpected bills. Um, plan, plan, plan. And finally, finally, as I know you're all waiting for that finally, so just give me a moment. Drum roll. Let's frickin' enjoy this season. Really enjoy what's going on, what's around you, the people around you. Enjoy the experience of what you're going through right now. We get so wrapped up in our little worlds that we actually tend to forget what's really important to us. So I'd really love you to frickin' 
enjoy everything that's going on around you. Yes, you're going to hit chaos. Yes, you're going to have this experience, but really enjoy what's truly going on. Enjoy the purchases. Enjoy giving with love. Enjoy purchasing with love. Enjoy writing your your experiences out with love if it's a voucher of some sort, but really enjoy it and give with love. So that's it for me. That's it. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm in Dunedin, if you didn't know. I'm in Dunedin. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for joining. If you've got any questions, flick them through now. Um, I really appreciate you being on this call. We've got some great calls. I've sat with my assistant this week and we've got some great calls, Facebook Lives coming up. If you've got any ideas, let me know. I'm really inspired to share uh, some wisdom, some insights into how to get through the crazy world out there that we live in. Um, and it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be crazy. So thank you for allowing me to speak. Thank you for being here. And I will see you next time, next week. And we're going to keep that money in your pocket for this crazy festive season. Thank you, everybody. That's Debs Cooper signing out. Bye.